Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a bus update. So, it's been a minute since I've done a bus update. Um, I mean, I had some stuff to update you guys on last week. I just didn't have time to film bus update. Uh, last weekend, quite a few things got done. So, this, this bus update does have uh, some stuff to uh, show. Um, as you can see, 45 is still in its position next to 3, so I haven't moved it yet. But uh, each one of the buses has something to update, so we'll go ahead and start with 45. So uh, 45, uh, last week, or last weekend, I got two things done. That One of them was like I, I wanted to do it, something I had been wanting to do. Uh, the second thing was something that was just kind of like a maintenance thing. Um, and I just want to say before I start, I know I, I took a poll on... Uh, you guys want to see the number and the ID number getting redone, like the process. Um, I just went ahead and did it, and I did not have the time or the like to to actually film the video. But trust me, I'm sure the other numbers in that ID will probably need replaced at some point too. So there will be more opportunities for that. Um, so that's the first thing we're going to look at. So I did take pictures of it with the number off. I may put those on Flickr. I haven't decided yet, but. We'll go back here and look. Does it look any different to you guys at all? Like, looking straight at it, can you tell that the 6 has been changed? So, this is the new 6 um, that's on the bus. I will say the one thing you can kind of tell where it's just over a little bit slightly than the shadow. Um, as you can see where my finger is, the shadow's here. So it is a little bit further away uh, from the 8, but it's still at the same height level, and it's not like it's that big of a difference, so um, it's still, it looks good. I think it, it worked really well, and I'm glad I was able to get this font um, for it. So I'm sure eventually that these other numbers being, you know, almost 28 years old and all, will probably need replaced. Um, I mean, right now they all look good, but it it's something that I'm sure in the future uh, may be something I need to do. So I'm sure there will be more instances to do that. Uh, going up to the front, you'll see the next thing I did. I uh, redid the ID tag and put the number on there. Um, the, the only thing, and I'll, I'll show you a little bit more um, here in a second but the, the only thing that's kind of I'm not happy with with that is that I did um, I did kind of put the ID on there a little I mean, it's just slightly crooked so I mean that kind of sucks but you know it's it's on there um, see let me get out of this real quick. Um, there was a way I had wanted to do this. So basically what I did... So basically what I did uh, was... I painted over the ID tag because I cannot find that material nor size of ID tag. Um, because if I was to get like a, a new up-to-date ID tag, it would be a lot smaller than that particular ID tag. So I figured I would tape it off and paint it white. Uh, because, you know, back in the day, that's, that's how ID tags were. It was just a white rectangle that was painted onto the bumper. And most of the time, you know, they would even paint the ID number on there before vinyl. Um, so... <coughs> So, that's what I did. Um, I bought that vinyl back in January, but I just now was able to, to paint the bumper and everything. So, what happened was, I painted the, the bumper, and then or the, the ID tag, and then I, I figured I probably should put a, a, a coat or two of clear on that, so that way the paint does not, you know, chip off with the ID number on it. Well, um, what ended up happening was, it was suggested to me to put the ID number on there before the clear, which, you know, seals that in, which isn't a bad idea. 
but uh, just with all that white paint, and because it was taped off, you know, so with all that white paint on it and the paper that was protecting the rest of the bus from getting painted, um, I wasn't really able to, I thought I had it centered, but apparently not. So let me go ahead and activate the warning lights here so you guys can see, you can see it in its glory. But, um, yeah, so like I said, it's, it's a little crooked, but, um, it, it could be worse. So there it is. And it pretty much looks like what it would have looked like when it was in service, but you can, I mean, you can tell from standing here that that number is crooked. I mean, it's, it's a little unfortunate, but it's at least on there. And one day, if I have to redo it, then I can just, you know, peel that off and redo it. I don't think it's that big of a... Like, right now, I don't think it's that noticeable that it's worth peeling that off, damaging the paint, um, and redoing it. So, you know, for now, it's just going to stay like that. Uh, maybe one day, if I really feel like it, I'll change it. But at this point, it'll probably look like that. Unless something happens to that bumper and I have to replace the bumper or, you know, the paint starts peeling. I don't know. But for now, that's what it's going to look like. And I, I don't think it's too horrible. But, um, yeah. So I'm pretty happy with that. So, uh, let me get this bus back over to, um, over there and we'll, uh, pick up with, uh, three. Alright, so we're gonna pick up here with three in a second, but I figured why not include the child check deactivation in this. Alright, so three also got something added on to it. Um, and it, I mean, it's nothing major, it's just a small little something I did because I, you know, wanted to do it. Uh, so, as you guys know, I, I put vinyl numbers on the inside of 45, basically marking the bulkheads. Well, I at one time had 1863 on there, um, in this corner right here for the uh, SBH ID, you know, this, that, that right there. Um, so, what I decided to do was take that off because I got... A vinyl vinyl three so there's one up front and one in the back now you might be wondering why is it centered or why is it in the middle of the bulkhead and not on a corner like 45 well 45 has the little door that opens up uh, three does not so there's no crease here and there's no hinge so it's a lot easier to put a number there and I figured why not line it up with this row of screws that goes the entire length of the bus um, so that way like they're for sure in the same spot so you know we got the front three and then we look back you got the back three and and here's the back three um, you can see it's just it's right above the emergency door decal so I mean that's I mean it's nothing big it's just something I did and you know, something for bus update. So, um, yeah, I mean, I like the way it looks. I think it looks good. So that's, that's three's episode or time on bus update. Um, whoops. Moving on to 66. Here's the update. Found a buyer for it. Um... And it's now, it's it's pretty much ready to go. And I'm not going to get too in-depth with showing you guys because I'm going to do a separate tour video. But we'll basically do a, a brief walk around. So here's the condition it's in right now. Um, I sprayed over the ID tag, which when, when I was doing this, I didn't realize that I missed a bunch of little spots. But it's okay. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Um, international emblem, obviously, I took that. Uh, 
everything else is pretty much the same. I don't think I've taken anything else that hasn't already been shown on the outside. Well, actually, I take that back. When we walk to the back of the bus, you will see sprayed over the ID tag. Um, and because you, you know what I did? I got when I was doing this, I, I was like, well, let me see if I can find if I can reveal the old ID number. So like I was messing around with it and you can probably like that's that's my example. You know, you can see where I, I like cut the ID tag up. So um, I decided just to go ahead and cover it. So yeah, it's it's covered. And I know there's a little little bit of room here um, where it's not uh, covered by the black paint, but that's okay. And then this this is peeling off, so that's you know, it is what it is. Um so here everything's normal. Over here I took the tail light lens and I took the bulbs and I took this tail light lens. Um I left this one because this one's cracked and I already switched out the good one that was on it. This lens here I was gonna take, but it is also cracked from when the kids threw rocks at the back of this, so it wasn't worth taking. Um I didn't spray over stop state law because I didn't see a point. Um so nothing's really changed on the back here. Uh going up here, I did spray over where I put Laid Law Transit just because you know it's I just you know I didn't really want that showing, especially if it's gonna go elsewhere. Um and I know to you guys it's probably like, why does it matter? You know, that Laid Law doesn't exist anymore. Um but I don't know, I just wanted to spray it over, so it got sprayed over. Uh, moving on to the inside of the bus, you'll notice some stuff is missing. Uh, I came in here, I took the the door the, for, the, for the school bus sign because of all the stuff it's got on it. I didn't want to leave it behind. Um, I took the panel that had the asset number. Um, so that means the panel that was here had to come off. I wanted to take this, the, the piece of metal that says that I put Laidlaw Transit Lebanon, Ohio on. But it's, it's secure. Like, you have to basically, you, you have to un, unscrew the driver's window here. You have to do a lot of, a lot of unscrewing. And there's really no guarantee that this whole big piece would come out. Like, it, it'll move. So I'm sure if the screws came out, like, it would probably... You could probably get it out if you tried hard enough, but I decided just to let that go. Uh, I went ahead and took the switches um, because they can be reused um, on other buses, like 50. Um, I was going to take the gauge cluster, but I decided not to because I've already got two gauge cluster. Or, do I have two? I thought I had two. Maybe I have one. I don't know. I already have... Uh, at least one gauge cluster, maybe two over there. So, um, I didn't really see the point at, at this point in taking it. Uh, so I just decided to leave it. Um, let's see. Um, I don't think I took anything else. I, I put, um, scrap stuff is in here now. This is the, uh, little plastic thing for the, where the, the panel used to go. Uh, I took the the switch part that had that went here that had like the dome light switch and everything, so that's on three now. Um, as you can see, there's just boxes with some scrap parts, stuff stuff that I don't really need in here. Um, and then back here, there's some more stuff that isn't really any good to me. There's that the radio from this bus. Um, I wanted to take uh, the the little um, connector that goes from the door to there. Uh, but I forgot to get the proper tools to take those off, so I don't know. Um, I mean, there's still time. I could still take it, but I haven't decided. Um, so that's, I mean, that's pretty much it in here. Um, like I said, I will do a final tour video before the bus actually leaves, so, um, be looking for that. But this is, this is where we're at. This is 66's, um, shape. Um, and I mean, it's pretty much ready to go at this point. So, oh, I also took the, uh, build plate for the, for the body. I didn't, I didn't take this, because that, that's got all kinds of information on it, and I left that. But, um, 
that just, I mean, it's not like that has the VIN on it. So I went ahead and took it. Uh, the VIN's there, and then the this has the VIN and all kinds of stuff on it, so I left that. Um, I took the SBH ID sticker off because it doesn't need that anymore. Um, and everything else is pretty much what you see. So uh, we'll take a longer look at it in the um, final tour video that I do before the bus leaves. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for bus update. I know it's been a minute since I filmed a bus update, so... Yeah, um, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and, yeah, more videos are on the way, so just hang with me. School year's almost over, and once once I've got more free time, we will have, my hope is, more uploads. So, yeah, anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. So, yeah.